On a state for the uh, Ottoman Wheelers on the shot put, third year in a row, Melissa diced over 38 feet once again tonight. Close to your best, were you pretty happy with the way you came out and performed in this meet? Starting off the night, I was not throwing my best, and I was starting to get a little nervous. And I made it into finals, and I knew that I could relax a little bit, but I knew I needed to start throwing a little farther if I wanted to okay. be up on top Boys. and get down to state. So how did it all come together once you got into the finals? Knowing I was in finals, I knew I could take a deep breath and that I had three more throws, but there were still a few more girls ahead of me, so I knew I, knew I needed to just take a breath, take a couple more practice throws, and just send, just get her out there. So describe the throw um, that you threw the 38-2 in, just kind of take us through you know, how your form was and all through the release, describe it. Um, all night it just seemed like I wasn't as comfortable as I have been in the past, but my throw that was 38 feet, it just felt more comfortable and that it just all flowed better. Stepping into the circle, it was a lot more comfortable. I took a deep breath and overall the throw was a lot better. Have you changed your form much from last year or just kind of tried to perfect it? Talk about maybe what some of the differences are from a year ago. Um, last year we didn't have a throwing coach and this year we do. Last year I did a shuffle and this year our coach Tyler Christensen, he got me to do a glide and that has helped me out tremendously. How long did it take to get used to that? Uh, the first couple weeks I was not comfortable with it at all, but after the first few weeks I felt way more comfortable and I found what worked with me best. How does your mindset change, if at all, from last year going to state where maybe you know, maybe happy to get there to to maybe more of a contender or hoping to get some hardware this year? Last year I was just happy to be down there. This year I'm hoping to go and I'm hoping to compete and maybe even place. Was there pressure coming into the night? I mean, you had the best throw by two to three feet, but you know you still had to come through. Was, what was on your mind coming in? Even though I had the farthest throw, you always have to show up and you always have to work hard and give your best because you know someone can pull out a better throw and they could throw better just as I wasn't throwing my best and some of them were throwing better than they had been all season. So you just always have to come out and be better than you have been all season. You have a certain target distance in mind, what you think, it, if everything goes right, what you think you can throw? I'm really hoping to hit 39 or 40. And where do you think that would put you in the state? Um, third or fourth, I think. Okay. So you've been running some this year too, right? Yeah. Is that new bit. for you, and how's that going? I didn't really run a lot last year, but I have been the 4x1, 4x2 a little bit this year. It's a, it's a little different, but it's a lot of fun just to be a little bit more involved with the team and just to be able to be in some of those relays. And that shows kind of some impressive versatility physically. Is that something you kind of take pride in, that you can show off your strength and your speed? A little bit, yeah. It's just it's a lot of fun to be able to, you know, go from the throwing circle and step out on the track and be able to be a part of my team other than just throwing. Yeah, you mentioned being a part of the team, and the team has been pretty impressive with the young group of runners this year. A couple of other events going on to state on the track. What's it been like to watch these uh, girls run this year? You know, from last year to this year, last year we only had two of us down at State. This year we have a large group, and with the freshman class that came up, we're very proud of them. They put their whole heart into their races, and they work very hard, so we're very proud of them. All right, thanks a bunch. Good luck next week. Thank you.